Hey developers, today we are going to take a look at the complete 2020 web development bootcamp by Dr. Angela Yu. This is going to be a really fun video. I actually reviewed this a long time ago. I'm going to have an update on what's changed and why you guys should check it out. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. Oh yeah, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also a big fan of Vue.js, React, Angular. If you guys like those type of videos, if you like tutorials and also reviews, make sure you click on that subscribe button, click that bell button and uh, leave a comment below. I really want you guys to do this. Leave a comment below. I'm growing out my quarantine beard. Tell me if you guys like it or not. I want to know. Let me know in the comments below. And also let me know how you like the course. Okay, so this is the complete 2020 web development bootcamp. Full, 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 full transparency. I, I am putting a link in the description below. If you click on it and buy the course, I get a few bucks. Udemy is having some amazing sales. In fact, they're doing a $9.99 sale. They're doing sales all the time. So make sure you, you click on that, pick it up for very, very cheap. If you do, I get a few bucks. So I did a video on this in 2019. So it's been over a year. Uh, I talked about the complete 2019 web development bootcamp review. And it was one of my most popular videos at the time. I think people really liked this course. Uh, I, I kind of took a, I stopped the video at this point. It says 39 hours of on demand video at this time as of this recording it is now 53 and a half hours so they have added you know another 10 more than 10 hours of content in since then and i wanted to see what has changed with this course in between the time i reviewed it in 2019 in january 2019 and today um, as of 2020 in may first i i think um, when I was first reviewing this course, I talked about how this was really competing against Colt Steel and a few other the big Udemy web development creators out there. And I still think that's the case. I think Colt Steel is as relevant as ever. If you don't know, he's another big time Udemy instructor. He also has like a web development bootcamp. But I think a lot of people really relate to Dr. Angela Yu um, and the way she teaches. It's just really well done. So let's go to the course and take a look at it in more detail. So I'm going to go to the course here. So what is the 2020 web development bootcamp? So this is, uh, she describes it, it becomes a, become a full stack web developer with just one course, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node, React, and MongoDB, and more. Like I said before, it's 54 total hours. It has captions. I know this is really important for a lot of people is to have captions, and they're really well done. She actually fixed the captions in the past. It had some issues. And it's also, of course, available on iOS and Android. And it's one of the highest rated Udemy courses out there. So keep that in mind. And they've taught over 280,000 students. So this is a really good deal. I mean, it's basically, if you get in one of the Udemy sales, which is actually occurring as of this recording, I believe today or tomorrow, you can get it for like low as like $10 or $13 American dollars. So it's really, really cheap. And here's all the content that it goes over. Now, a couple of this new sections that you might be uh, you might see if you haven't if you saw the last video, I talked about how it went over HTML, CSS, and it kind of goes over some older technologies too, like Bootstrap for well, at the time I believe it was Bootstrap 3, and it also goes over uh, like jQuery is a section. But I think she kind of took some of that criticism and then added more to it. So let's take a look at the sections. What do we have now? Front end web development, HTML, intermediate HTML. And the way she teaches is, is really simple. She goes over these little sections and then she also creates these projects as you imagine throughout the, the different apps. And then she also has assignments at the end of each section. So of course you go to inter, introduction to CSS, intermediate CSS, of course the box model, fab icons, font styling, stylized, um, looks like stylized CSS properties. So I'm just gonna kind of give you guys an idea what this course is about. Uh, in particular, Bootstrap, I really am not a big fan of Bootstrap. It is definitely used in a lot of different web development agencies and web development companies all over the world. But I think there's better design frameworks out there. I think material design has caught on a lot in the last year or two. I know in the Vue community, we have, there's a lot of different things out there. Vuetify is being really popular and has a bunch of built-in components. That's also one thing is I think these different uh, design frameworks like uh, Zurb Foundation, like Bootstrap, they are now being kind of ported over to React and Vue and Angular. So that way you don't really use Bootstrap for, you use like the Angular version that has the components for Angular or the components for React. 
Um, still, I think Bootstrap's a little old. A lot of companies still use it, and I'm not a big fan of it. And Coley goes, uh, she goes into introdu introduction to JavaScript ES6. And intermediate jo JavaScript, you can see some of the things you might learn here. Uh, control statements, if else. Uh, who's buying lunch solution looks like you kind of create a little app in the middle of this a lot of her sections do have mini apps or have whole apps through it a lot of times and then some of them are just one-off sections looks like you create the Fibonacci sequence here's the Dom model so kind of real basic things like that here's the jQuery again once again I'm not a big fan of jQuery I think it's really old technology I don't think any modern companies should use it unless they're supporting some legacy um, there's just better ways to do it and you can some of the jQuery stuff we had to use in the past now you can just use through uh, plain JavaScript and and the built-in stuff into the latest version of of our Dom manipulation that we can do and or if you're using a framework like right react maybe you probably don't want to use something like jQuery and then there's all these boss levels where you kind of just really I always thought this was really well done you can just challenge yourself, these little uh, assignments that you need to do. Uh, I mentioned this in the, my last review, but it's kind of cool that she even goes in the command line, which is something that I know a lot of new developers, it's like another thing they need to learn is command line and people don't like to learn it because it becomes quite complicated learning all these command line stuff, but it's great that she has it in there. You know, I talked to my buddy Dylan and he's like, really all you need to know is like how to change directory and run a few things. And he's right, but kind of knowing a little bit more than that, like maybe even how no, even know how to do a little bit of shell scripting, learning a little bit more of the editors, maybe learn Nano, but Vim as well, I think is really important. If you're Emacs, maybe Emacs. I don't think she goes into that much. I don't think she does. Oh, she also, this is funny. Tips for Angela, sleep is my secret weapon. I know a lot of web developers say that, like just being able to do a nine, eight hours, eight or nine hours of sleep every day makes them feel refreshed. It makes them more... Uh, that it's easy for them to to knock out coding if they have a good night's sleep. Backend web development, Node.js, Express. Oh, there's a few sections that she added. I'm going to go over them in a second. Um, I believe APIs, applications. So this was completely redone uh, since my last review. So she goes into what is JSON. I only looked at a couple of the videos, but it kind of goes into back into the Node, the Node way of doing things with the body parser. I believe uh, some things in the latest version of Node might be different. I wonder. She does have a, a whole huge community of people, and there's a big Q&A section. Uh, GitHub, GitHub version control, EJS. I don't know why we would ever use EJS. I would just skip this section. But for those of you using Node and you're just using EJS in it, you could do that, I suppose. And then database SQL, of course, this is full stack. So we're looking at the back end and front end with node and then a uh, little bit of database and SQL stuff, probably just how to do basic uh, CRUD, create, read, update, delete commands. Deploying your application, uh, RESTful API from scratch, which this is also a new section, which is really nice. She talks about, and this is all done in node, how to create a nice, a nice easy node server, and how to get that up and running. And uh, one big thing is React. So let me show you guys what's new, especially in 2020. What's new in 2020? So at the beginning of the year, some of the newer things, uh, she had a Christmas gift for us a year ago, and that was build your own RESTful API. I just kind of mentioned that. It's one of the newer sections. And then she had registration and login and username, and, and uh, it's almost a four-hour module, and she talks about Registration, login with username and password. That's under probably authentication security. Looks like she has hashing passwords, hacking 101, salting passwords. This is really cool because this is something that you normally don't see in a lot of web developer boot camp uh, uh, apps or, or courses out there. So it's cool that she kind of went in a little deep dived in a little bit more. Uh, and of course, the biggest probably update from the original review I did over a year ago was she was missing kind of the modern frameworks out there uh, you know, or libraries, like for example, React or Angular or Vue. And she actually included a whole, I believe this is eight hours. Let me see, yeah, eight hours, almost nine hour course on React and it's built into this. So this is really neat. And she's also, um, unlike some older React courses that only show classes, she actually talks about both. And so she has classes and hooks. So if you're a React developer and you want to learn hooks uh, and you kind of want a kind of a beginner's level course, I mean, this is nine hours 
and she talks about React components, classes, and how to use hooks, which is awesome, and how to set up your development environment. And um, she has a Keeper app, which is a project that you have to create inside of it. And I, I, I watched the first few videos of this, and I was really impressed. It's like really well done, and it's really cool that you get React in it. And I don't believe Colt still has that as of yet. I, I have to check to see. He might have React in his latest um, web development course. I'll check. And then uh, you can see that she fixed a lot of the uh, captions. So the captions are really well done, which is really cool. And uh, she had some more new JavaScript challenges. So this course has been updated for 2020. Uh, you know, it has a fresh new coat of paint with this new eight hour React course. I think this is still, when I said last year and as of today, this is a no brainer. If you have Udemy, you should probably buy this course. And if you do, make sure you click on that link in the description and buy it from my links. That way I get a few bucks. But uh, but if not, still, you know, check it out. For share with somebody too. This is kind of a cool course. And you know, with this edition of React and modern React with, with hooks, I think it's it's really well done. I'm gonna show I'm gonna just real quickly check. I'm gonna go back to um, my courses here. And I'm gonna see if in my courses, I'm gonna look for Colt Steel. Actually, I'll go right here. And I'm gonna look at his, he has a web developer bootcamp and advanced web developer bootcamp. I wonder, I can't remember if they also include React or something to that. So here is his course, there's Colt. Okay, he has CSS animations. Okay, he has Ajax, testing closures. That's kind of cool if you don't understand closures he has in this course. And by the way, I'll put this link in the description too if you guys are interested. This is the Advanced Web Developer Bootcamp. But real quickly, I don't see, okay, here it is, React, Router, Redux. Okay, so he does go over React in his Advanced. I wonder if his other course if in the beginner course, which is probably closer to the web developer bootcamp, if he has React in this one too, I cannot remember. So he's doing, so this is very similar to Angela's. They both did bootstrap. I think they both even go into jQuery. Yeah, they both have jQuery, which is kind of funny. Um, I don't see, he has a Yelp camp. He does not have a React section in here. At least under the, yeah, I don't see anything about React. So, I mean, if you're kind of comparing the beginner course from Angela Yu and the course from Colt Steel, I mean, obviously Angela's has a React section. It looks like Colt has a React section in his advanced web developer bootcamp, but not the, the beginner one. All right, so I wanna hear you, what you guys think about these two courses, especially Angela's. I wanted you to leave a comment below. Let me know, I really appreciate it if you guys do. And uh, yeah, thanks, take care. Oh yeah, make sure you smash that like button and uh, yeah, click that link and buy the course. I really appreciate it, it helps support the channel, thanks.